How did it feel when you heard your name called out? Yeah, it was pretty amazing. Obviously, such a massive relief, especially because of how weird this year has been with COVID and haven't played much footy, so you didn't really have any idea going into the draft what was going to happen. But I was super excited when my name was called out, especially because it was North, so I'm really happy to be here. Were you a little bit nervous this year with COVID not being able to play any games? Did you think that might hinder your chances at all? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think everyone relies on having a strong draft year to really boost your chances. And when you don't really get that, um, it yeah, just makes you extremely nervous because you don't know if what you've already done is enough. So. so prior to this year, where were you playing football? Can you talk us through when you started playing? I started playing three years ago just at Sandy Dragons down in NAB League. Pretty much just started there. Had never really played too much footy before that. I was a bit of a basketballer. Um, so, yeah, making the switch across was so much fun and I absolutely loved it down there. We had such a great group and I think seven of us ended up getting drafted, which was awesome to see. What made you change from basketball to football? Um, the, pretty much the establishment of AFRW made me switch. I always loved footy, but I played basketball because, you know, there's WNBL and things like that. But obviously there was nothing in footy at that time for girls. So I just kind of thought, was it too much point playing? And then um, as soon as it was made, I just told mum, I'm quitting basketball and I'm playing footy and bad luck. <laughs> So you were dubbed the Silk at Sandy Dragons. Can you tell us how that came about? <laughs> yeah, uh, that was all coach. My coach, Tam, um, uh, I don't really know how to start. I think it was just a training one time. I, I did this kick into the forward line and um, Tam always, you know, being too nice about me, was like, oh, that was so silky. And then I noticed a bit of a light bulb moment for her and then she's like, silk. And then it all just started from there and everyone just called on and started calling me it. Love it. It's a great nickname. <laughs> um, so you've got a lot of speed in class when you play and you've got a great ability to make things happen. What are you hoping to bring to the team? Yeah, I guess, as you said, I'm hoping just to bring that class and some good ball use and um, hopefully a little bit of X factor around the goals, get us on the scoreboard and um, hopefully we can just get a few wins and have a great year and make it back into the finals like you guys have done um, for most of the years you've been in the comp. As mentioned, you've got an ability to fit into a few roles around the field. Where do you feel most comfortable? Um, I think I feel most comfortable playing that mid-forward role, kind of doing a bit of rotation between the two. Um, I don't really I, – I definitely like playing both of them, so I don't, I'm not too fussed which one I'm in. But, uh, yeah, I definitely feel most comfortable through there. And what are you most looking forward to in the upcoming season? Oh, I think I'm definitely just most excited to get into the club and um, meet all the girls. Heaps of them have messaged me already, which has been so nice, and they all seem lovely. But, uh, yeah, I just really want to meet them all in person and get stuck into training and – um, get down to have a good year. Congratulations again, Bella. We're really excited to have you and looking forward to meeting you. Thank you so much.